Rain Group latest actions speak volumes as Sheikh Jassim pushes. The Rain Group have refused to comment amid suggestions the Glazers are reluctant to sell Manchester United. According to reports, the Americans confirmed back in November they were open to a potential sale, but the situation remains up in the air, with Sheikh Jassim eager to conclude a deal. According to Global Finance magazine, the Glazers had been about to sell United to Sheikh Jassim. In its claim there are internal disputes with the current Red Devils owners stalling the sale. A source said, it's getting the kids to agree. Not all five want to do the deal. Avram, Kevin, Brian, Joel and Edward Glazer all have shares in United at present, which further complicates matters. And the report also says the Rain Group have refused to comment, which speaks volumes in several ways. Firstly, it would suggest there's truth to the claim that not all members It's an open secret that brothers Joel and Avram, in particular, have long insisted they care for United. Past reports have suggested the two siblings would ideally retain control, which is why Sir Jim Ratcliffe was previously considered the frontrunner. And Rain Group silence is also telling because that sums up the process as a whole. Both the firm and the Glazers have refused to provide any updates over the course of the saga so far. The family have long been known to keep United fans in the dark despite promising better communication in the wake of the failed European Super League plot of 2021. And what ultimately happens in the coming days and weeks ahead remains to be seen. Behind the scenes, Eric Ten Hag is desperate for clarity. The United boss is eager to add to his squad this summer, though a potential takeover is holding the club back. The Red Devils have, so far, been pursuing a deal for Chelsea star Mason Mount, who is willing to move to Old Trafford. But with the Blues pricing United out of a deal, Moises Caicedo is now on the club's radar. United also want a new goalkeeper, with links to Inter Milan star Moises Caicedo gaining strength. And a fresh striker is being sought, too, with Harry Kane, Dusan Vlahovic and Victor Osimhen emerging as possible targets. Meanwhile, speaking recently, club legend Gary Neville was asked about the Glazers, and he insisted he didn't have a takeover preference, claiming he would just be happy to see the back of the family following 18 controversial years of rule. I don't mind, I genuinely don't, he said. I'd like the Glazers to leave in full, even now with how they're dealing with the sale process, which means it's ultimately dragged out. They can't make a decision and there are other examples of that. They can't deal with things that are difficult. Hopefully we can have a full exit. But with the Ratcliffe bid, it looks like a part exit with two of them staying. I don't like the idea of that. If that bid comes forward and is successful, which is the talk, I'd like to think there's a fixed exit for the Glazer brothers organized in let's say, two years, so we know they're leaving. Ratcliffe comes in and brings in another investor to take them out. In other news, Manchester United will walk away from Moises Caicedo talks if Chelsea accept £55 million Mason Mount deal. Manchester United will drop their plans to sign Brighton star Moises Caicedo if Chelsea accept their bid to sign Mason Mount. Chelsea are set for another round of talks with United in the next 48 hours following the Blues' decision to reject a third bid for Mount. That bid was worth around £55 million, with Chelsea demanding a fee in excess of £65 M to let the England international leave the club. That's a figure United will not consider given Mount has 12 years remaining on his contract and the club have looked at alternatives. Caicedo, 21, enjoyed a spectacular season for Brighton last season, and the Seagulls have publicly admitted that he will be allowed to leave for the right price. United made tentative contact with Brighton earlier this week over a move for Caicedo, and they are prepared to step up negotiations if a resolution with Chelsea is not found for Mount. Caicedo would cost significantly more than Mount, with Brighton seeking around £80 M for the Ecuador International. United fans had hoped that Caicedo and Mount could arrive at Old Trafford this summer to bolster Eric Ten Hag's midfield. However, the Daily Mail say United will walk away from a move to sign Caicedo if a deal for Mount gets over the line. That's due to the club's tight summer budget, which is believed to be around £120 M. Andre Onana is a £43 million target from Inter Milan, and his arrival along with Mount would take the club spending to £100 million. Ten Hag must sign a centre forward this summer, meaning he would have just £20 million left to sign a number 9. United must therefore raise at least £50 million in the market to raise funds for a striker, and a deal for Quesito would not be viable. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.